E aí, galera, tudo bem? Estamos aqui no DCS World F16 Viper. Essa sequência de vídeos que eu estou postando são dos arquivos lá do canal do Matt Agner, aquele CEO que posta os vídeos acadêmicos do F16 Viper. Até o outono de, desse ano de 2019, ele vai lançar vídeos explicando algumas coisas sobre o F16. Como os vídeos deles são públicos, eu vou reeditar eles e colocar aqui no nosso canal com legendas do YouTube. É, vou colocar a legenda do YouTube lá, vou copiar o vídeo e vou postar aqui no canal. Como os vídeos dele, eu já falei, são públicos, não vai ter problema. E como o meu canal não tem monitoração, ou seja, eu não ganho dinheiro para postar vídeo no YouTube, eu acredito que não vai ter problema. <cười> Mesmo assim, lá no na descrição do vídeo eu vou colocar todos os links dos arquivos original do Matt Egner. F16 Viper, acompanha aí. Hey everyone, Wags here from Eagle Dynamics, and in this DCS F16C Viper video, we'll be taking an initial look at the Lightning Targeting Pod for the Viper. In this mission, we'll be using it to deliver a laser-guided bomb. Now, during the development of the Viper, we'll be adding new features in parallel with the targeting pod for the Hornet. Let's get started. Alrighty, so let's take a look at using the Lightning targeting pod to deliver a laser-guided bomb. Uh, first, to make sure the right uh, cheek station has power. That's where the uh, pod is loaded. Right now, we're in navigation master mode, and we're going to change that to air to ground. And here on the uh, stores page, we see that we're in CCIP bombing mode, and we have two GBU laser-guided bombs loaded on the jet. On the left side, we're actually already in the targeting pod page, but let's say you don't have the targeting pod on either page, you want to bring it up. So you simply uh, come down here to the uh, OSBs on the bottom, uh, select one already selected, and you have a list of the different pages you can bring up on the MPD, in this case, uh, TGP. So right now it's in standby mode, and to bring it out of standby mode, we'll press the standby OSB. And we see we have the air to ground option, AG, because we're in air to ground master mode. Select that. And now we have the pod coming to life. So in many cases, you're going to have uh, the ability to have a cursor on multiple displays, as well as HOTAS control. So you have to decide which of the displays is going to be your sensor of interest, called a SOI or SOI. So in the case of the Viper, for the two MPDs, you go down on the DMS switch, or DMS switch, on the control stick. And when you do, when you select the SOI, you'll have a white box around the perimeter of that display. If you want to make HUD the SOI, then you go up on the DMS switch, and you have an asterisk above the tape. Just go back and make the uh, targeting pod SOI, indicated by the box. Okay, zoom in a bit. So, again, we see we're in air master mode, and we have two fields of view, wide and narrow. When we're in wide field of view, you have the corner markers, and the area in between indicates the area that you would see in narrow field of view, which you can uh, go to by toggling the expand button on the control stick. So now we go to narrow, and then we come back out to wide again. Uh, below that, we have the zoom level, number and Z for zoom, and we can change that with the clockwise and counterclockwise manual range button. So we can zoom in, and we can zoom back out. Uh, next to that we have override, basically puts in standby. Our uh, control will come a little bit later in the project. Then we have two different cameras on this pod, a uh, daylight TV camera and a FLIR. And for the FLIR we have a white hot and a black hot. And we'll keep it in white hot for now. Uh, next we have our laser designation code, in this case 1688, which needs to match the bomb code you set up for the mission. We can change this on the pod very easily. So we can go to list, miscellaneous, laser, and then we have our TGB code. And then below that, our LST code. We dab her out. And we also can set our LSS. Uh, finally, let's go ahead and turn our laser to arm. And we do that, we have an L indicating that the laser is armed, but not firing. When it's firing, it'll start to flash. Now at this point, let's switch the uh, bombing mode from CCIP to CCRP. And we did that. Note that the uh, FLIR line of sight went directly to our current steer point. And you can also see that here on the HUD, where the box with the dot in it is not just our steer point location, but also where our targeting pod is looking. So 
if we go ahead and make the TGP our soy and we start slewing around, we'll see both the steer point and the targeting pod location move at the same time. Much more handy that way. So let's go uh, field of view change and zoom in a bit. And now we can move the cursor over the target and when we leave it in place it'll go into area mode automatically and we go team us up we can go to a point track and under the right conditions it will then actually track that target even if it starts moving so at this point we're ready to start our attack run zoom back out and unpause and now we're just running a, a standard CCRP attack much like we did with the JTAC earlier We see we're about 40 seconds out from release. And just like before, we're going to line up the uh, flight path marker on the azimuth as steering line. Uh, 15 seconds out. And shortly before release, I'll start to uh, hold down the weapon release button. Coming down, holding down weapon release. And bomb away. Go off to the left to give less mask in for the pod. And I'm going to go into pitch hold to keep my altitude. And now I'm going to press the first stage on the trigger to start firing the laser. And note that the L starts to flash, indicating that the laser is firing. and splash. So that's a little look at the targeting pod and how to use it with laser guided bombs. I very much hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks.